Today, I'll be showing you how to start a blog step-by-step. -step. The method that I'll be showing you today is by far the most affordable option for beginners that have no idea where to start. You also don't need to know any code at all, so yeah, pretty cool. So if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to Hostinger's page right here, where as you guys can see, you can start a website for under $3 per month. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so yeah, it's great for beginners, and if you don't like it, you can always just get your money back within 30 days. We also have a special code that you guys can use for an even greater discount. So if you guys want to get started, click on claim deal right here. And then it's going to lead you to their three different plans right here. So they have the premium, the business, and the cloud startup plans. For most of you guys just starting a blog, I would say that the premium plan is everything that you need to create your first website. With this plan, you get access to 100 different websites. You get unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, as well as a free email for your website and a free domain name. So yeah, it's a really good deal. And if you guys want increased performance or more storage or things like that, you can go ahead and go with the business plan as well. But for now, I'll just go ahead and click add to cart on the premium plan. And so now it's gonna bring me to this page right here where I could choose a time period. They have a one month plan, a 12 month plan, 24 month and 48 month plan. All these plans are good except for the one month plan. Obviously this one's a lot more expensive. So for this example, I'll choose the 12 month plan. Down here, I can go ahead and enter in my email or use Google or Facebook to create my account. And then down here where you enter in your information and you select your payment, go ahead and click right here where it asks you if you have a coupon code and then type in my first website. Once you guys apply that, you guys are gonna get an even greater discount. So as you can see, I'm getting one year's worth of web hosting for $37.69. And you guys, this is super affordable for most beginners. I don't know how long they're gonna be having this discount for. So go ahead, check the link down below and use our code for an even greater discount. But yeah, from there, you just have to enter in your card information and then click on submit secure payment. But yeah, once you guys are done signing up and you've logged into your account, you guys are gonna see a page like this. It's gonna say premium web hosting or whatever hosting plan that you got. And then from here, all you have to do is click on setup and then click on start now. And then from here, it's going to ask you if you want to create a new website or migrate an existing website. For this example, I'm creating a new one. So I'll select this. And now it's going to ask me if I want to choose WordPress or Hostingers Builder with AI. We're going to have other videos on this channel that will teach you how to use Hostingers Builder with AI. This is a super simple method that you guys can use to build a website within minutes, but it is less customizable. So I don't recommend that for people that want to scale a blog. So I recommend going with something like WordPress. So I'll choose that. And now it's going to ask you to create your login details for your WordPress account. So just enter in your email that you want to use as well as a password. From there, it's going to ask you if you want to add any plugins to your website. I'll just go ahead and click on skip. And then it's also going to ask me if I want to install any themes. So I'll just click on skip as well. And now it's going to ask me if I want to claim a free domain name or if I want to choose a domain name that I already have. The free domain name comes with every single plan, even the premium one. So I'll go ahead and select this. And now you guys can enter in the desired domain name. So let's say I want to go with this name and then go ahead and change this to .com and then click on search. So cool, this is available. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. And then you just have to finish filling in your contact details and then click on finish registration. Okay, cool. So once that's done, it's gonna allow you to either edit your website right away or you can go to your hosting or control panel. And this is where you can manage your site and do things like set up your website email or install a website SSL. But we can do all that stuff later. For now, we'll just go ahead and start editing our website right away. So cool, now I'm at the WordPress dashboard. This is where I can manage things like my website posts, the media. So this is the images and the video that I'm gonna be using, the pages, the comments, as well as the appearance, plugins, and all this stuff. The very first thing that I recommend you guys doing is going to settings right here, and then going to permalinks, and then go ahead and just change this to post name. This will make your website a lot better in terms of SEO, so all of your blog posts will rank higher on search. So from here, I'll just scroll down and click on save changes, and now we can go ahead and install some plugins. So I'll go to plugins right here, and then click on add new. And the first plugin that you guys can download is something called Yoast SEO. So I'll go ahead and search that right here. Here it is, so I'll go ahead and click and install now. This is basically gonna allow you to improve your WordPress SEO and again, allow you to optimize your website and have it rank higher on search. The next thing that you guys can install is Elementor. So I'll go ahead and install this now. It's basically a drag and drop page builder and it's very good for beginners that are just getting started. Me personally, I don't like the WordPress block editor and as you guys will see later on, it's pretty difficult to use. So yeah, I highly recommend getting the Elementor website builder. And the last thing that I recommend you guys get is something called WP Forms. This is basically a WordPress contact 
Connect form plugin where you can drag and drop form that you build onto your website. So yeah, this is a great way to get people's information. It's also a great way for people to contact you from your website. So once I've installed all of these, I'll go ahead and go to installed plugins right here. And as you guys can see, all the plugins that I just installed are right here. From here, all I have to do is activate them. So I'll go ahead and activate Elementor. And it's probably gonna bring you to another page, but you guys can just go ahead and exit out of those for now. But yeah, once that's done, you guys can go to appearance now and then install your themes. So right now I have the 2023 theme installed. If I wanna add a new theme, I can go to right here where it says add new. And now I have a bunch of different themes that I could choose from. If you guys want, you guys can also search up blog right here on the top right hand corner. So this is gonna show me all the themes that I can install that have to do with the blog category. If you see one that you guys like, you guys can preview it. So I'll click on preview right here. You guys can see what it looks like. And if I like it, then I can go ahead and click on install. And then once that's done, I can also activate it. So cool, now that it's activated, I can go over to pages right here. And this is where you can create all of your landing pages. So for this example, we'll go ahead and add new. And it's gonna take us to the WordPress block editor. So for now, I'll just add a title. So let's make this the homepage. I'll click on publish and then publish again. And you guys can use this block editor. It's not that simple. So if you guys wanna add something, then you click on this. And then you have a bunch of different things that you guys can choose from. But I recommend clicking on edit with Elementor right here. And this is gonna bring you to the Elementor dashboard where it's way more simple to use. So here on the left-hand side, they have a bunch of basic things that you can add, such as a heading, an image, a video. And yeah, I'm not gonna go too much in depth on this. We do have other videos on this channel that will teach you more in depth on how to customize your website. But yeah, it's very easy to just drag and drop. So let's say I wanna add an image right here. I just drag that onto the screen. From here, I can choose an image and upload it from my laptop. And there's a bunch of different settings that I can mess around with. But yeah, I highly recommend just messing around with it on your own time. Otherwise, this video would be too long. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this for now. And the next thing that I wanna show you guys is how to create your first blog post. So if you go to posts right here, you guys can see that it already has a sample blog post for you. But if you guys wanna add a new blog post, just click on add new right here. And again, it's gonna bring you to the WordPress blog editor, but you guys can always just click on edit with Elementor with it as well. So let's say we wanna make a blog post on how to write a blog post. So I'll go ahead and publish this. And if I go back, you guys can see that it's right there. And the cool thing is I can actually categorize these blog posts. So if I go to categories right here, I can add a new category. So let's say I want a new category to be how to and I'll just have the slug as how to as well so this is a URL friendly version and then from here I'll click on add new category I can also create a subcategory so let's say I want to create one on creating blog posts and I'll create a slug for that as well and right here where it says parent category I can go ahead and choose the how to's and I'll add that as a new category and as you guys can see it is a subcategory of the how to's now so now when I go back to my posts I can go ahead and go right here to quick edit and I can go right here to the categories and I can uncheck the blog and then check it for the how to's and the creating blog posts. And if I update this, it's now gonna be categorized as the creating blog posts and the how to. So now I can create a separate page on the creating blog posts as well as the how to categories. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a menu for my website and I'll go to appearance right here and then go to menus. Right here, I'll go ahead and put primary menu as the name. And then now I can add a bunch of different things like the homepage. I can also go to post right here. So I can add the blog post as a menu option. I could also go to categories right here. So I can add the how to as well as the creating blog posts and add that to the menu. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually go ahead and click and drag this around. So if I bring this to the right a little bit, you guys can see that it's now a sub item. So I'll go ahead and save this menu. So now wherever I add my menu to the website, it's gonna show up with the how to as well as the creating blog posts subcategory. So to customize that, I'm gonna go to right here where it says customize my themes. Down here where it says menus, I'll go to that and then go to the primary menu. And then now you could choose a location. So I'll go ahead and choose primary menu right there. And now as you can see the how to is right there with the creating blog post underneath it. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and click on publish and then I'll exit out of that. And cool. So now if I go to my pages and I view my homepage, I can see that how to is right there. And if I click on creating blog post, it's now going to bring me to that section. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys just mess around with WordPress. There's also a bunch of other themes that you guys can install. I know Astra is a really beginner friendly theme that you can download. But yeah, that's basically how to set up a basic blog on WordPress. Make sure to use code my first website for an even greater discount. And yeah, I know we went over a lot in this video so feel free to reference back at any time. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we plan on making a lot of how-to guides in terms of web design and WordPress. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.